Today, Sea Dog here. Welcome to my channel, my high school doing students. This has to be prepared to be soldered into the space, um, into the space in here where it goes. So to prepare that, we need to do some marking out and measuring and things. So it's got to be bent, like this is one that I've done previously. It's got to be bent down like that to fit into the shank. Okay, so to do that, we need to make some measurements on on this. The short, the length. Uh, the side with all the short ones, that's going to be actually the top of the ring. So we're working with the longer, um, the section where we've got longer prongs. And we're going to set these to six. The dividers there, that's six mil. Beautiful. That six mil needs to be clearly marked at the top of that circle that the gem sits on. So it's just a matter of very carefully Marking those out with a divider like that and like this. Okay, so just these snips here, like that you normally use. Just remember, we want to save those little offcuts of silver. So if you just put your finger while you're snipping, they won't fly off and it'll all be good. So that's it. Got my waste bits which I'm going to re melt down. Lovely. Okay, now this that's good, but now what we've got to do is actually shape, do some sh uh, work to shape the insides of the prongs so that they, they will go together neatly to form a point which will then get soldered onto this part of our um, of that shank there the, on the undercarriage. So I'm going to use a Moore's disc, these which takes a little white disc and in this case it's actually a medium disc which is says medium, it's actually, they're actually quite coarse so just pop them on the square things, give it a bit of squeeze and that's nice and secure in there. The good thing about using a Moore's disc for this is that it will get into here without hacking up the other prongs because it's, it's so skinny it gets right into there so we're going to just take a shaving off there off there, there and there to start with and then I'll explain what else we're going to do but we'll just do that. So you need obviously your glasses on. Okay, now so what we're doing is getting your prong setting and just taking an angle there Two, three, and four. So each of those now is angled towards the centre. But we're also taking a couple of other angles off each prong. So we've got it towards the inside, but we've also then got to take some silver off there. Um, each, so each of the sides, so the only part of the prong that's not affected is the very outside. Three, that one's done. Then we go back and take a bit off the other side that we didn't do, so it's this face, like that that, that, and that, beautiful, okay, let's turn that, um, turn the engraver off, alright, so we've done, got all those done, and it's very, very sharp on each of these points, and then we're, that's now ready to push those prongs inward towards each other, to do that I'm just going to get a, um, a center punch. I've got a center punch here. Now that all that's going to do is support the this. It's just like a holder. So we can hold that on there and that will give us some support while we're pushing, pushing this, um, these prongs over. And I've just got a special tool that I use. It's just a, basically a bit of square metal. 
and you can actually hold it fairly upright to do this so you can see that they go centrally just it's a matter of just pushing from low down on the prong do a bit and go opposites like that like that so they're not ready but they're on their way like this there and that one okay they're all done a little bit but none of them are done enough because we've still got a, a gap at the top just going to go a bit more there and then it's just a matter of working around until they actually go in and touch each other beautiful so that these can be fully pressed just nicely like that so that each one of them so it comes that actually comes to quite a point there when you look at it quite a sharp point just check that the shape of each of these triangles is more or less the same because that's going to tell me whether this little basket setting is even so if I put that there okay and then rotate it that looks fairly similar that does too and that does too so I'm very happy with each of those I'm just going to put it against my um, the shank of the ring so that is going to sit in there later I'm going to have to open these up these each up a bit for it to fit in but that's going to go in there and it's going to sit I'm going to actually drill a, a hole not all the way through but a bit of a hole into the ring shank in through there and that hole is going to accommodate the very point of this thing here but my next step now and I'm not going to video this but my next step is to solder this this little prong setting with some hard solder um, or even medium solder just at that point there so it's fixed and then I'll just give that a light sand back but that's how to f um, how to file out and prepare that little uh, basket or claw setting ready then to sit into the shank okay it's it is tricky but guys just go slow bit by bit measure your six mil accurately do you do your Moore's disc grinding work accurately everything slowly and uh, you should be right to go all right good luck thank you